Hey guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machining Performance again. Got a new video. This video I'm going to show you how to big bore a set of cases. Um, this is to be able to either put um, 760 on 701 um, or big bore sleeves on a 701 61X. Um, anything like that. Basically any engine that you want to accept big bore sleeves, we have to make this larger because obviously it won't fit in. So um, I'm doing this in a CNC machine. It doesn't have to be done that way. So it all kind of works the same. You can end up using a standard boring head. Some people use a fly cutter. I'm not a huge fan of that because it's hard to get an exact number. Um, with a boring head, it can be perfect. You can also mount this, the cases down to a rotary table and indicate it in the middle and then just run it around on a rotary table. A whole bunch of different ways to skin a cat. None of them are wrong, it's just whatever works best for you. And this is the way I do it. So the first thing we're going to do, which I already did already, is we're going to take an indicator and we're going to indicate so that we're directly in the center. It's the first thing we're going to do, so that way we know how big to go. Now we're going to measure the sleeve, and what I end up doing is I end up going 20 thousandths larger than the base of the sleeve, which gives you a little wiggle room. Um, and if I'm doing, so this is a set of 61X cases I'm doing for a customer um, that he's putting a 760 cylinder on it. I'm just going to do it the extra few thousands for big bore sleeves. So in the future, if he wants to go to a big bore, he can do that. He only has to pay for it once. So, but that's also up to you. You don't want to go too large because then you're just throwing away crankcase volume. So we don't want to do that either. Um, if you guys like these videos, if you could take a second, smash the subscribe button hit a like, put in the comments below a video you want to see, and I'll get it made for you. Alright, let's take this off. And let's get this thing ready to fire up. Interpolating down, so it's going down in a helix. Side number one, time for number two. And as I said, this could be going much, much quicker than it is, but I like to have my hand on feed hold just in case if something ends up going wrong. You don't want to scrap an expensive set of cases.
Pretty good. 